Previously on Heavy Rain. Help! Dad! Sean. Where are you? You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Oh, oh my god, it's just a- In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. <laughs> Hello, little cutie. Who? Oh, you looking for your mama? I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Hey guys, it's Warrior Chick and welcome back to Heavy Rain. So we're finally playing as Ethan again and the last time we saw him is when we were going through our little box of goodies and we got our first little ticket with an address that we are going to right now, I assume. So Wednesday morning, I now know that inches means rain. I think I got that revelation um, in one of the past episodes. So everything makes sense now. Well, oh, it's all starting to make sense, except I still have no idea who the killer is. So we're still, we're still using the brain juice to put that together. All right, city garage. Let's see what we can do in here. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I gonna find here? Hmm. Can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. Hello? I'll do anything to get him out of there. Oh, true. There's a dude right here. <laughs> I should go talk to the garage guy over there. Yes, the garage guy. Hello. Excuse me, garage guy. Excuse me? How rude. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? Do you for? Uh, here. <laughs> Take it. I'd like to get my car. <laughs> the hesitation. My car. What's that for? That was a suspicious hey, nod. You're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries, just like you said. Two years? Here. It's the third floor down. Service elevator is at the far end of the Thanks. tower. Now, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Oh my god, what the heck? It's been here for two years? A car? Why am I being sent to look for a car? Have I been here before? I don't remember it. Oh no, okay, we can't have Ethan thinking about getting this all familiar, or else he's gonna think he's the origami killer. Elevator at the back of the garage, third floor, got it. Third floor, all right, let's go, Ethan. So that car's been here for... Damn camera angles. Car's been here for over two years, so... The origami killers... Been planning this for a long time. And if there's like other victims, maybe, maybe it's like the same car that we all use. So I can't remember the timeline of when he started killing, but if it was two years ago, um, then that would make sense that we all have like a car that all of us uh, parents with our children getting kidnapped share. Oh, I see. Okay. Looking for the car. Oh, I see it. Okay, it's right back there. Click, click. Alright. Let's see what kind of car this is. Oh god, I hate brown cars. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just don't like them. Alright, let's see what awaits us in this car. Pretty clean. Looking pretty fresh. Looks like it's been untouched. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe there'll be another little note. Probably gonna have to, like, bring this car. I wonder if we're, like, stealing this car for somebody. We're doing some criminal stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a GPS. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to, like, steal this. Nothing? No snacks? No nothing? Got anything in the back here? Glove box? Nothing in the glove box? Alright. 
Put on this GPS. Let's get going. Four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Oh, you know what? What if we're doing like, like a robbery? I feel like that would make sense. Maybe we're gonna have to do like, or drive by shooting. Cause that's why we have the gun. Oh my god, are we killing people? Oh my god, so many terrible things can happen and I I just oh god fingers crossed <laughs> it's nothing too bad. No, but this guy's a psycho. He's planned this for a while. It's probably gonna be some like absolute like psychologically fucky task. Oh, I've never been so not excited to go somewhere. Yeah, me and Ethan, I, I feel that I'm just as oh, scared as you. Oh, God. Heavy rain in the forecast. And we're the only ones on this road, apparently. Oh, my God. What are, is he going to tell me to jump off the bridge? Your destination. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Yes. Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have to. What? What? Sean? I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. No, man, we can't do it. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'm scared. I my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm, I'm not gonna make okay, it. Okay, no, no, no. We have to hype him. We have to hype him. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay. Hope, hope, hope. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only lead. No turning back now. Okay, man, we can we can fucking do this. Let's go, Ethan. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna fuck up. <laughs> oh, it's a risk. A lot of good it'll do, Sean, if I kill myself on this highway. Well, we don't have any other options. I've got to do it for Sean's sake. I have no choice. I accept the trial. Oh my God, it's like all shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm scared. Alright guys, here we go. Pray for me. Hopefully I don't- Oh, fuck this up. Hopefully it's not too hard. Wrong way. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm a risky one. Oh! Alright, alright. I see, I see. Okay, these controls are always super confusing, but this time it actually fucking matters. The other girl was just like- it was a nightmare. It wasn't even real. This is- <laughs> Man, this is pretty real! <laughs> oh my god. We have still got four miles. That's one mile down. Get out of the way, man. <laughs> you know what? Actually, this isn't going too bad right now. Okay, thank god I didn't kill any of these guys. Oh gosh, see, I think I have the opportunity to kill people, but no one's dying today. Oh, that guy I think was fake. Uh oh. Oh! Okay, two miles. We're, we're over halfway there. You know what? I'm actually great at this. <laughs> oh god. You know, actually, no, I'm not gonna jinx it. Uh oh, the popo! -po! Oh god, this is. Oh god, here we go. Okay, one mile, we can do this. It's just GTA. Come on, Ethan, you must have played GTA, right? Yo, sorry guys. I'll do all the explaining later. Some of these are like really hidden. They move all the QTEs all over the place. Oh, <gasps> sorry, man. Oh my god, am I gonna be charged for all these guys like murders? Oh, oh, fuck. Uh oh, uh oh, we're spinning out. You know what? <gasps> okay, but. I didn't miss it! Oh my god, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! This thing's gonna blow up! Please press the screen. Destination reached. Please oh press shit. The Destination okay, that must have been supposed to happen, because I, I don't think I failed any, did I? Oh my god, it's all upside down! Is in the 
Oh my god, upside down QTEs? I thought it couldn't get any worse. Wait, why can't I move? The key is inside the GPS. Your reward why can't I move? What the heck? The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. Okay, go get it, man. I made it. Now, now my reward. reward. The letters. The, the address. Okay, go get it, man. The key is inside the okay, I get it. The key's inside. Oh, shit. This thing's gonna blow up. It's going orange. I don't know why I'm pushing the down button, but it's like... Not working. Oh, it's because I'm upside down. Oh my god, I'm an actual idiot. You gotta get out of here before I blow Ethan to smithereens. I get it. I got my my reward. <laughs> okay, Ethan. Right now is not the time for uh, soldering a motherboard. Let's get out of here. L L L one, R one, R two. No! Oh my god, I have to restart. Oh, these upside down ones are totally screwing me up. Come on, Ethan, get out of there. Don't forget your reward. Oh my god, what if I blow it up? I'm like so tense right now. Oh, come on. Of course, that was the wrong way. Oh, wait, no. Okay, we just gotta bust it down. Come on, where are the cops? Are the cops like not helping me? Oh, wait, they're all dead. Bro, did you grab your reward, so? <laughs> I hope so. I hope he didn't forget them. Because I'll be pretty angry if he did. I mean, at least we're not dead. Oh shit, the water's getting higher. Oh. That's it? That was my reward? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Holy, oh, thank god I got out of there quick. What would have happened if I just, like, accidentally killed Ethan? Like, <laughs> would the game end? What would happen? Would we play as, like, the mom? I don't know. But hopefully the rain will put that out, you know? No one will, no one will ever know, you know? Our little secret. Hopefully no one grabbed my license plate on the way, though. We got a new bonus, and oh, I'm a good driver. I'm gonna take a picture of that and show that to my family. <laughs> Guys, I'm a good driver. Oh, we've hit two inches of rain. That's a lot. And we're at the motel. Ooh. Girl, you ride that motorbike. I knew she was a badass when we played as her for that first time. I wonder if this is the same, like, motel Ethan's at. Alright, let's, let's get a room. Wait, why are we here, though? Hmm. Good question to ask. Sean Mars. Sean Mars. Oh, yesterday? That's how quick the timeline's going? He disappeared yesterday. Oh, nice. Oh man, this guy looks like a weirdo. <laughs> Sweetheart, what can I do for you? Ew! I'd like a room. For you? Anything. <laughs> Feeling the register. Feeling the register. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> what is this guy's problem? Oh my god. 
Just look at his mouth. I hope you're chewing gum and just not being an absolute fucking weirdo. Madison Page, 27, single. <laughs> How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? Stop! Oh, yeah. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Madison Page. Thanks. Single. The pleasure was all mine. I'm looking That's at my butt. Shame. Ew! That was so fucking creepy. Oh god. Do hotel keepers have like a spare key? Like, I hope he doesn't like come in my room. Or like steal like do motels have like housekeeping? I hope he doesn't like try to like come in and like be like Am I gonna sing page? I want a telegram for you. Date me please. Alright, third floor. Alright, so this is the 100s. We need the 300s. Hello. Yo, man, what did that creepy guy say to you? Is he- <laughs> does he swing both ways or is that just a me thing? Oh god. Ugh. See, I don't know why that guy's just giving me the GP creepiest. Am I going the right way? Okay, yeah, there's more stairs here. Hello? Hello? Can I have a puff of that? I'm a little stressed out right now. I gotta find if there's any other ladies in here. We all gotta stick together. I don't trust this guy. Okay, third floor. So, one more. Right? I thought he said third floor! Alright, whatever. Okay, I forgot what room number we had. Shit. What room is it? Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Ah, gotcha. Okay, 201. Oh, yeah, let's- I wonder what she thinks about that receptionist. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Oh my god, girl, I was thinking the same thing. That is also not the right way. There's someone there. Is he... Is he wounded? Wait, where? What? Maybe I should take a look. Is someone wounded? <gasps> oh, is that Ethan? Oh. And the stories collide. Sir? Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Um, Ethan, you're lucky this lovely lady came in at the right time. Alright. Aw, oh, man, I wonder if he's gonna tell her. I don't think he will. He's- he's very- I, I- like, I know he's suspicious, but... It's not like you she'd the be key? the killer. Would she? No. Definitely not. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. You must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. <laughs> Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Uh, can I do something, sir? I should disinfect his cuts. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. You know what, girl? You're right. This guy is in trouble. You have no idea. All right. Uh, let's grab some. Grab something. Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. No, we're not giving that to him. <laughs> Imagine our... <laughs> oh, you know what? I feel cool. We're playing pharmacist right now. 
Necofrin 100 antibiotics administered to combat infection. I feel like that would be good, but I think we're looking for like pain right now. Antibiotics later. Killer. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. And what's that last one now? Yeah, gotta go up on the tippy toes. I should disinfect his cuts. Is that what this is for? Alright, let's do this. Okay, yeah, this I'm is where I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Slowly. 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 <laughs> Slowly. There you go, looking like a brand new man. Yeah. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. I should get him some pain stuff. I'll help him first and ask questions later. All right. So let's get him the pain meds now. Pretty sure it was that one. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. All right, we should probably let him know that, because he's probably going to take, like, eight. Here, take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. Oh, I knew, I knew he was going to do that. Like wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I, I'm gonna take a shower. Oh god, it's not a good idea. We're gonna need to get him one of those, like, little chairs that you put in the shower. Oh, we're gonna have to, like, help him get undressed and stuff? I'll wait here until you come out. Let me okay, know if you no. need anything. No, we're not weird like that. Oh, he's definitely gonna need help, though. I feel like he can't even frickin' lift his arms. Oh, oh, girl! <laughs> oh, okay, we're being a little. <laughs> Talk to me. That way, I'll know if you pass out. Good excuse. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing through. We're being a little... What else can you do, <laughs> a little Madison, creepy. Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. Mm. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. I'm like trying not to be too creepy. Oh, oh, we didn't get any little sneak peeks of the butt. That's good for me. <laughs> I don't have to worry about like blurring it and stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna go snooping through his closet, but. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Yes, good. Okay. I better get going then. Or maybe I can stick around. You know, make sure you don't die in your sleep. Wink, wink. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to be careful. Oh, okay, now it's just us. Yo, can I go? Hey, Madison. Oh, she gone. All right. Sure, I, I guess we can't bother her again. <laughs> All right. Oh, poor Ethan. Broken ribs. Now he's just moping around, you know? He's all hurt. Oh my god, I just fucking want to know who the origami killer is. All right, well, at least we got our first trial successfully done. I mean, it could have went a lot worse, so... <laughs> Let's see. 
What awaits us next? More origami. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? The old power plant on something something street. What could we possibly be doing at a power plant? So what's he gonna do? Be like, create a power outage. Mwahahaha! <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I guess we don't have a few days to rest. Like, I'm actually just really surprised about how fast the timeline's already gone so far. Honestly, it's kind of amazing to think that yesterday is when Sean went missing, and literally not even a day later, we have all these broken ribs, we've done our first trial. I feel like, I don't know how many trials there were, but I'm gonna assume there's at least like four or five based on the amount of items in the box. Maybe more, but... The fact that we're gonna have to do all of this, like, we're gonna actually have to pick up the pace now that I think about it, because... What? How many days did they say we have? Like, three or four days? That's like, what? Just about one trial a day? Like... It's kind of... It's just... It's really crazy to think, and it's absolutely, like, disturbing me right now, thinking that. I know this isn't real, but it's still just kind of screwing with me a little bit but i'm gonna end the episode off here i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye